Hi, my name is India and I'm a 34G. Today I am channeling my inner baby spice and bringing you 10 tips and tricks for all of my big chested ladies out there. We're gonna go over the most flattering clothing styles for your body type, picking out swimwear, my tried and true favorite bras, and some tips on how to minimize your chest size if that's something you're looking to do. Now I do just wanna preface by saying the classic phrase, the grass is always greener on the side, really rings true in my opinion with body types and sizes in general. If you have big titas, you want small titas. If you have small titas, you want the big hoo-hahs. I will say that I've definitely grown to love and embrace my body, but I definitely haven't always felt comfortable and confident in my own skin. And on that note, my very first tip, as cheesy as it might sound, is truly to love and embrace the body that you have. I've said this before on my channel and I'll say it again, I promise you that someone else wishes that they had your body. Your body is their dream, dream body. I highly recommend tonight going to the mirror. You're looking in the mirror at you in your birthday suit and you just say, girl, you're looking good today. Hype your, I, I don't know why I'm doing this, but hype yourself up, okay, sister? And keep saying it until you believe it. It might take days, it might take weeks, it might take years, but say it until you believe it because the tips that I'm gonna give you here following will not be very helpful until you truly love and embrace who you are. Tip number two is sponsored by Wacol. Biggest of thank yous to Wacol for sponsoring this tip in today's video. For those of you who are new to my channel, I fell in love with Wacol bras years ago, long before I started working with them. I was on set for, I believe, the show Insatiable on Netflix. Super small part, I played Jennifer season two. Very small role, but it was awesome, incredible experience. I digress. I've been wearing Wacol bras long before they started working with me and they are truly the only bras that I wear. So if that isn't a glowing review, I don't know what is. I'll have all the bras listed in the description box down below in order of appearance in the video, plus a couple extra faves that I just don't have time to go over. The first bra I wanna to mention to you is the Elevated Allure. I literally took this bra off today, put on a different one so that I could show it to you because this is my favorite bra of all time. It's sexy yet practical. It's the perfect balance. I'm in love with it. I even got my mom to get one because I was like, mom, like you need this. Okay, so <laughs> right off the bat, you guys know the drill. I have three rules when it comes to beginning to even look for a bra. I have a three clasp minimum, moderate to thick straps, and no padding but still lifts. The quality of these bras are impeccable. They're not cheap, they are fantastic quality, but they're also not like $100 or more. Every single bra I'm gonna feature here today is under $75. Next up we have our basic spacer t-shirt bra. I have this bra in so many colors. I have it in black, navy, nude, like I'm obsessed with this bra. It's my t-shirt bra. This is a spacer bra, so it's gonna keep the girls separated so you're not gonna be sweating throughout the day in your long sleeve t-shirt, but we're also not gonna have our tea towels going from east to west. We're gonna keep them right where they should be with just a little spacing. I've gotten incredible feedback from you guys on these bras. It honestly makes my day when a woman messaged me and is like, wow, uh, I found a bra that fits me perfectly for the first time in my life. We have a retro chic bra. This is an all lace situation, okay? You can see a little nipple through it and it is like, this is your sexy time bra, okay ladies? This is your sexy time bra. But yet it has a little bit of a retro flair, so it's like sexy, but like once again, elevated sexy. Take a shot of water every time I say elevated sexy. Last but not least, we have the Simone and Brandy sports bras. I really, really love both of these. The Simone sports bra is going to be your higher impact sports bra. So this is gonna be, you know, your running sports bra. Whereas the Brandy is more so gonna be your yoga sports bra, your Pilates sports bra. If you can only get one bra from today's video, easily the elevated allure to me just <laughs> I want to put it back on right now <laughs> but also their strapless bra is the only strapless bra I wear I'll link a couple extras in the description box down below but these are the ones I want to focus on here today so be sure to check out the links in the description box down below right there if you are interested and now let's go ahead and talk about necklines as we move into styling I will say that Styling clothes, of course, is so personal to your style. Everyone just needs to dress in a way that makes them feel confident and comfortable. So if I recommend staying away from a certain style in particular that you absolutely love, by all means stick to it. Rules are meant to be broken. My top three favorite necklines personally for my body type are square neckline, scoop neckline, and v-neck. Next, I wanna talk about buying stretchy shirts, okay, friends? It. <laughs> 
<sighs> Buying shirts is definitely my least favorite thing to buy. By far. Now I know what you're thinking. Big boobs, tiny waist, boo-hoo, such a hard life. Listen, I hear you, okay? I hear you. But it is challenging when your chest is a size extra large and your waist is a size small. So if you're in a similar situation where your chest is significantly larger than your waist, I recommend buying very stretchy fabric materials. For example, body suits are really, really great. They're going to expand over your chest area and then cinch back in at the smaller parts of your body. The core essential pieces of my wardrobe are body suits. I find that I can really dress them up for a fun special occasion or make it more casual when I need to. I have so many favorite bodysuits, but my personal favorites are from Skims. This is a Skims bodysuit. I remember seeing Kim Kardashian wear these really form-fitted tanks like on her show and just being like Googling like, where are Kim Kardashian's tanks from? Where are Kim Kardashian's shirts from? And finally she revealed that she was wearing Skims all along. The quality of Skims is honestly really good. I've been very impressed with their customer service as well. I bought a shirt from them that was missing one of the bottom snaps and they refunded the entire shirt to me just for free. So <laughs> I've had a really, really great experience with them. Next, when it comes to my tops, I really try to avoid complexities in them. So no ruffles or anything kind of like loud and boisterous and anything that's gonna make this area look fuller and wider than it is already. So not like a super blousey thing or anything like that. I try to go for a more simple, polished top and then maybe something louder on the bottom half, whether that's some cute, fun colored shoes or a flare skirt, something to kind of draw the eye away from the chest, make that area simple and then add some more fun below. And I find that it kind of balances my body in a way that I prefer. Another tip I like to do from time to time, I definitely break all the rules I'm mentioning, but in general, I like to wear darker colors on top or maybe more muted colors on top and then lighter colors on the bottom. So no zebra, cheetah, big patterns on top in hot pink or whatever, um, and then really dark bottoms. I kind of do the opposite where I'll do maybe like a patterned skirt, but with a plain black tank. Aesthetically speaking, it helps to draw your eye to that brighter, bolder pattern color, what have you, and less focused on the darker, more simple area. But of course, if you're looking to draw the eye to your chest area or enhance that, then I would simply do the opposite and go for a more boisterous, loud top and a simpler, cleaner bottom. Zetas Lapidus, next let's talk about swimwear. I mean, I had to, cause you know, Xenon, girl of the 21st century. Okay. I can and have made an entire video on swimwear, but I'm just gonna give two key tips and a couple brands that I really like for skin wear. Swimwear. <laughs> First and foremost, I look for pieces that are sold separately, meaning the tops you can buy in an extra large, the bottoms you can buy in a small, or vice versa, you know? Most bodies are not perfectly proportionate. Mine certainly is not, so I definitely always look for that. I cannot buy a bathing suit, like from Target, where they're always so stinking cute and cheap, and you're like, oh my gosh, but then, I don't wanna be that person who like separates the sizes, and then when the next person goes to buy it, they don't have, like, I don't wanna be that person, but I've thought about it. Also highly recommend swimwear that is sold by bra sizes. So the tops are 32G. <laughs> that is a great, beautiful thing when you can find it because sometimes an extra, extra large uh, bathing suit top will fit my chest area, but I will then have to get it altered to fit around my rib cage um, and make it a little bit smaller. So finding bra size, Bathing suits truly is a magical and beautiful thing. Some of my personal favorite bathing suit brands that fall into these categories are Venus Swimwear. Venus Swimwear is the most affordable option of the group. Next would be Athleta. They have beautiful bathing suits that just are athletic and feel supportive and they're just a whole vibe. Uh, next we have Bare Necessities, Cup, Freya, and Panache. I never know how to pronounce that. Panaki, Panache. I don't know. All the brands mentioned sell fantastic swimwear. I will link all of those down below as well. Next, I wanna talk about how adding layers can really enhance your shape and harm your shape. What I like to do if I wanna look tall and lean, bear in mind I'm 5'5", five five, okay? So I ain't no 5'9 girl. That was my goal. Didn't happen. Throwing on a structured jacket can really not only elevate your look, uh, just for styling in general, but it's going to 
lengthen and lean you out as you can see here whereas if you throw on a slouchier jacket it's gonna kind of like it somehow makes your chest look bigger, it makes your overall body look bigger, it just doesn't do great things for you. Now listen, sometimes you just wanna have like that comfy, cute look. Hey, throw on your slouchy sweatshirt, you do you, boo. I do it all the time. But if you are trying to go for a more lengthened, elongated, chest minimizing look, then I do recommend a structured jacket. Last but certainly not least, we're gonna talk about my favorite, well, really my least favorite, the tent effect. Listen, I know I'm gonna step on some toes here, okay? Because this is like, I feel every large chested girl at some point in their life has been like, ooh, I'm just gonna wear super baggy, oversized things to make my chest look smaller. I understand what you're thinking. I get where your head's at, I've been there, but in my personal opinion, if you still prefer it after this, you do you boo. But I personally think that it, it enhances your chest size. I actually recommend a top that is form-fitted in the chest area, kind of gives an empire high waist and then it flares out. It's still gonna allow you wiggle room in your body, you know, if they maybe you wanna be a little bit more conservative in your tummy area or whatever, but it's not gonna make it look like your chest sticks out as far as your stomach sticks out. Sometimes oversized shirts can just give you that tent effect that, in my opinion, isn't the most flattering. I'm sorry if that's your favorite look. Like, listen, like, keep it, okay? Keep it. Like, I love you. It's just not my favorite, okay? <laughs> we have covered so much ground material today, and I just had an absolute blast. Like, I just feel like I'm on a high. I love you guys. I even lit a candle for you. I feel like a YouTuber who really tried today. Um... <laughs> I really hope you enjoyed today's video. I truly had the most fun doing it, and I just love you guys. <laughs> like, I really do. Okay, I'm gonna stop. Uh, Vegas, I thank you again to Walk Cole for sponsoring today's video. It means the world to me, truly. And once again, be sure to check out those links in the description box down below. They are truly the only bras I wear at the moment. They're literally the best. I love you guys. I'll see you soon. Bye, y'all.